Hey, what's going on, everyone? Kevin here at Madden Gaming, and today we're going to be opening up some more Shining Fates, as promised. Because if you watched my video yesterday, I did an, uh, a Shining Fates Elite Trainer box, and today is going to be one of the tins. I've got one more of these behind me on this shelf here with um, Cramorant on it, so that one's going to be awesome. Uh, I had a bolt tined one also, but I, but I gave it to my daughter. So it was pretty good pulls, but those were her cards. I gave them all to her. But uh, we have two tins to do here, and I got a Pikachu back there we're going to do later on. So let's go ahead and get into this box. As you can see down here, I've got the um, Eldegoss V uh, Shining Fates. Does it say Shining Fates anywhere? It does over here. The new uh, tin. Let me get my scissors and cut this wrapper off of here. There we go. Should be pretty easy to tear off. Maybe. It's just going to keep... Uh, Okay, that's going to take forever. There we go. Let's get rid of that big old mess. And let's tear this lid off of here and see what we've got. Obviously, we have a nice Eldegoss V promo. I'll take it out of here because it's going to be easier to see without the, uh, the glare. And there's also the code card. We don't want to forget about that. There you go. Good luck on your online pulls. Oh, wait, that's just for the Elder Goss, I think. Could be. And there's our Elder Goss with the... Whoa, that's way too far. It's actually got very good centering for a promo. A lot of the promos are pretty bad. It's not perfect, obviously. Top to bottom's off. But uh, it does look pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve that up real quick. And we'll put it on a nice stand back here. So we can look at it throughout the video. And we should have six packs in here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Let me just get this tin out of the way and we can get started. And hopefully we can get some awesome pulls out of this thing. I know the ETB I opened up the other day had some very nice pulls. So let's hope we can get plenty more shinies out of this opening. But first I want to show you guys one thing. I had been doing some more paintings and I think these are two, two of my best ones so far. So I got this nice slow bro here that I painted. I think it come, came out very nicely. And then... I did this one for a commission. Somebody asked me if I could do them a Squirtle card, and this is what I ended up with. So, uh, I charged them $25. I think that was pretty fair. I think it looks pretty cool. And real quickly, my children painted a couple cards, and they wanted me to show you guys too. So, my oldest one made this one here. She's uh, six, going to be turning seven. No, seven, going to be turning eight soon. So, there's that. And my youngest painted these two for me. So, they are very nice. So, thank you, Ellie and Paisley. Your cards are beautiful. I'll stick those right over here to the side. Now, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into our Shining Fates opening. Going to be opening up the Toxtricity Shiny Pack first. And we're going to start the day off with a nice Grookey and a Code Card. One, two, three, four to the front. All right, can we get some first pack magic? Here we go. Cramorant, Rusted Shield, Dartrix, Grookey. Boizel, Yanma, Trap Hinch, Shinx, Amazing Rare Reshiram. All right, very good first pack. The centering is terrible. As you can see, it's huge down here and very small on the, the top. A little bit more to the top, and it could have been an error card, but uh, it's not quite that bad. And Full Art Ball Guy, very nice. That is 65 out of 72. We are going to put a... Oh, I like the texture in his mouth there. Can you guys see that? Look at that. That's pretty cool. Let's uh, sleeve those two up. Not bad. I believe every tin... Is every tin guaranteed a full art trainer? It might be. I think I heard that somewhere. But uh, I don't know. I could be wrong. But obviously, this one had a full art trainer. And my daughter's had a full art trainer. So it might be that way. Anyway, next pack. Got a Boizel. One, two, three, four. Can we do two good packs in a row? Let's go. We got uh, Rusted Shield, Rotom, Cramorant, Boizel, Spinarak, Shinx, Coughing, Horsey. Oh, uh, Reverse Holographic. Oh, Uncommon, Eldegoss, and a Non Holographic Rare Dreadnought. Uh, this Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks. Oh, cool. Exoskeleton doesn't seem like a bad ability. Okay, nothing really good out of that one. Next up is going to be our Charizard artwork for pack number three. Uh, 
Another Boizel. That's a Boizel in every single pack so far. Alright, Water Energy. Eldegoss. Dartrix. Cramorant. Boizel. Nicket. Cacnea. Kufant. Eevee. Eldegoss Reverse Holographic again. That's two of those. And a Morpeko V. Not too bad. We'll put a sleeve on that one. Oh, sleeves upside down. There we go. And I'm going to take this quick moment real, right now to remind you guys to check out MiyabiHobby.com in the description down below for all your Japanese Pokemon cards. And, uh, yeah, they got all kinds of awesome Japanese Pokemon cards, including the newest sets every time they come out. So be sure to check them out. All right, there's your code once again. And one, two, three, four. And so far this time, we haven't had any errors. No uh, crimped cards. I've been seeing a lot of them online, and I did find four myself, so it seems like the errors and crimps are becoming more common these days. Maybe because the Pokemon printing factories are rushing to get everything done because the stock is so low. That's my guess. But anyway, we got Electric Energy, Cramorant, Rusted Sword, Gym Trainer, Eevee, Gossifleur, Yanma, Snom, Kufant. Oh, okay, we got a Rookie D. Shiny Pokemon, a very nice. That's our first shiny for the day. And a Yon Mega non holographic rare. Have we pulled any holog are there any holographic rares in this entire set? I have never pulled a holographic rare. And that's 10, 11, that's 14 packs that I've opened so far and no hollow rares. I don't know if it's even possible to get a hollow rare. I'm gonna have to look it up. But anyway, Rookity, shiny, very nice. Okay, on to the Corviknight uh, pack art. Let me know in the description. Are you guys finding any um, holographic rares? Are the holographic rares that rare? I mean, this is going to be pack number 15 for me, so let's see if we can get a holo rare. Alright, we got a Fighting Energy, Rusted Sword, Luxio, The Wacky, Trapinch, Nicket, Gossifleur, Cacnea, Kufant, Luxray Reverse Holographic Rare, so at least there's a Reverse Holo Rare, and a Decidueye Holographic Rare. Okay, they do exist. Never mind on the comment. If you guys already did, then thank you anyway, but uh, we did finally find a Holographic Rare, and it's the Decidueye. Alright, our last pack of the day. So far, we've only got one Shiny except for the promo, but uh, let's see if we can't get one more out of this one, or another Amazing Rare would be cool. I think the shinies are actually pretty common this time around. They're not quite as hard to find. But uh, obviously you're not going to find the big ones very easily. Like Charizard or the uh, VMAX Pokemon. Be cool to pour a Ditto. I'd love to pour a Ditto shiny. Okay, uh, Fire Energy. Luxio. Ball Guy. Tropius. Horsey. Kufant. Choodle. Yanma. Morpico. Celebi Reverse Holographic Rare, very nice. This Celebi is actually the next card I'm getting ready to paint. As you can see, I've got one here. It's already got some lines drawn on it where I think I'm gonna do some do some stuff to it, but that's gonna be cool. Maybe I'll do the um, maybe I'll paint the shiny one, the hollow one. I don't know yet. Anyway, last card of the day is gonna be oh, Alchemy V Max uh, Rainbow Rare. Okay, number 73 out of 72. So we got a secret rare out of that box. Fantastic. That's an awesome pull. I'm very happy with this box. The centering appears to be a little off to the right side. But that's okay because this card is beautiful. I mean, look at the rainbow effect on this guy. It's a it's a cake. Alchemy VMAX is just a cake, but it's really cool. Anyway, let's go back over our pools today. We got some nice stuff. We've got more Peko V. Reshiram, amazing rare. Terrible centering. Ball guy. Pretty good centering. Rookie D looks great, honestly. Alchemy V Max and Eldegoss V Promo. But this this one right here is the star of the show today. This is probably the most expensive card we pulled, in my opinion. I could be wrong. The shinies are going like Rookie D's probably going for like eight or nine bucks. You guys obviously know. Should be at the bottom of the screen. But that is it, everybody. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys on Wednesday, I believe, for General Mills packs, and then Friday for Flipping Friday. So thanks for watching, everybody. Give a big thank you to my Patreons up above. In a second, the uh, the list of names tipped over up here. So we've got MiyabiHobby.com. 
Critical Games and Hobbies, also linked down below for your English Pokemon cards. Guy B, Oleg, Steven, Sue Wan Lim, Euronomus, Melissa Lecce, Joseph Yang, Edward Stinson, Chloe, Jacqueline Lavette, Deranged Slime, and Guy H. So thank you guys, you guys are awesome. And uh, hopefully the cards get in time to do the MG Collectors Club at the beginning of the month, but they might be late. The cards have been there for almost two months now, and uh, they're still pending grading. So I they should have been back already. When I sent them out, it was only a 30-day wait, and now they've been there for two months. So I don't know what's going on. But anyway, as soon as I get here, we'll do your things next month. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you guys next time. See ya.